Lack of access to and application of accurate, complete, and timely information is one of the most critical challenges faced by the wash sector in Zimbabwe. Without complete and reliable information, it is impossible to plan and allocate scarce resources effectively to target areas of the highest need or to track the quality of service delivery. It is against this backdrop that the National Action Committee listed information management as one of its key priorities in its 2011 roadmap. We need to have a user-friendly sort of information management system. This is why we have said, let us come with this unified system in terms of reporting and information management. And this is what gave birth, obviously, to the REWIMS system. We had varied reporting systems, for example, in DDF, the village-based consultative inventory, which was sort of a paper system. Papers could be lost during the transit from the originators to the recipients. In other words, now having this particular system, which is centralized, which is user-friendly, which is interactive, and where the various stakeholders, right from the word based extension officers are involved, the chain of command in terms of information storage, transmission, and utilization, and ultimately in the planning for interventions in future, is unified. That's the reason why. In other words, as you are aware, under the Zim Asset Cluster, the water and sanitation sector is under the Zim Asset and Utilities Cluster. And having that, we are actually in a position now to plan accordingly to meet the aspirations of government and to the population of Zimbabwe. Following the completion of the data harmonization process, SNV partnered with the government through the NCU in the development and piloting of a mobile and web-based rural wash information management system, RIMS. The introduction of RIMS made a turnaround in water sanitation and hygiene sector in Zimbabwe by modernizing data collection through creating a new VBCI record mapping all existent water sanitation and hygiene facilities, as well as viewing and updating the data from ward, district and national level. With the IKMT responsible for spearheading and structuring the WASH information management system, IKMT, which is Information and Knowledge Management Task Force, uh, is a subcommittee of the main National Action Committee of the Rural Wash. Uh, the idea of forming the IKMT was muted in 2010 when the NAC was rebranded. It was realized that there was need to have a robust information management system in place uh, to take care of issues to do with IT and having information and the knowledge well packaged. The role of the task force uh, is to spearhead the putting in place of a structure and information management system in place to ensure that information related to WASH across the entire nation is honest and processed into knowledge. So the task force has a role uh, at national level to train the PISCs, provincial water, sanitation subcommittee and then the PISC will further train the DWISCs, the district water sanitation subcommittee the DWISC which will in turn now train the enumerators at community level the enumerators have the responsibility of collecting the data that we need the rural wash data the VBCI in 2004 uh, the tools were revised to match the current needs of the sector. When they were revised, a trial run was carried out in Gogo South, and the eventual piloting of the tools was done in Manika Land and Mashona Land East, trying to ensure that the tools are ready to collect the relevant data that the sector needs. And then after the piloting and the lessons learned from the piloting, it was found that uh, the tools were ready to be used to collect the relevant data for the sector. And then there was now the need to move, because the VBCI was more of the paper-based, and there was now need to transform and move into the IT-based, the RIMS. So preparations began then now to move to 
from VBCI, paper-based inventory, into RIMS Online, which is a web-based information management system. RIMS is a customized open access ARC GIS linked mobile and web based application used to capture, store, retrieve, and analyze wash data. It has the capacity to store geographic information, which then can be used to produce water sanitation and hygiene maps and reports for specific villages, wards, districts, provinces, and the entire nation. Chief among the purposes is to be able to determine in terms of quantity, watch facilities in the district. Uh, the moment you determine this, you are then able to identify the gaps where we are saying, using RIMS, it's now possible then to say, where are the balls? Where are the real sanitary facilities? Are they there? Are they adequate? Uh, what are the gaps? then uh, this information then uh, directs us, it makes us as a district to make informed decisions as to where we can direct our investment. I hope that this foundation which has been laid, we are going to do quite a lot to achieve total sanitation and hygiene in our district. Community sensitization, field data collection, and creation of district wash databases was one of the key processes of the village-based consultative inventory and the RIMS rollout. On implementation of RIMS, a cascaded approach was adopted, which started by the training of trainers at provincial level, targeting provincial PUISC members by the National Information and Knowledge Management Task Force. The training of PUISC then cascaded to the training of district DWISC levels, including the training of ward enumerators. These trainings lasted five days for all three levels. Field enumerators were trained by DWISC with an oversight and technical backstopping support from PUISC, the consultant and NAC. Training lasted for three days per district. Field data collection lasted 20 days per ward. Before the data collection process, mobilization of the villages through the relevant structures in the districts, for example, through CEOs, village heads, and councillors had to be done. This was done to ensure good attendance and hence maximize data collection. Proper schedules for data collection were put in place, including all requisite data collection tools and materials like cell phones and tablets. Logistical and technical support from the consultant was provided to the enumerators for the 20 days to make sure they executed their job effectively. This included monitoring new updates into the database, which was done by the consultant with help from the NCU. <laughs> I think with that information, she backward to the provincial level. Now I say, I thought to chat about the rabbiti. We work on that. Can I do to watch if it is a problem? For I was at the Jumbo Nyama report. See, Nima, because information I need to know. There is the rest of now to teach you. We now all speaking with one voice. We are all now knowledgeable of what is required. This has actually been all been brought by a system that is actually accessible and uh, user-friendly. With the initial stages of RIMS coming to an end, it's now up to the local communities to ensure its sustainability. The DWISCs and the PUISCs have been given the mandate to look within their provinces and look within their districts and come up with the best sustainability models that suit their needs. So the first point is that uh, it's housed within the RDCs, which are the custodians of the program. For RIMS to be supported, Marundi RDC has taken a number of strategies. Chief among them has been to revise its strategic plan, like I've alluded to earlier, so that um, the issue of, of WASH is taken on board. 
Um, this is very critical for council then to direct and make budgets, formulate budgets on an annual basis that address even gaps, that address even wash related uh, critical interventions that are needed in the district. Without a strategic plan, it's difficult against the background where resources are scarce to allocate resources, but with a strategic plan, it, it compels the district to make sure that um, resources are allocated on an annual basis, particular maintenance, and making sure that those bowls that are either dry or that are not working, we procure spare parts and make sure that they are, they are functional. Again, in the budget, we've also allocated money for data bundles, so that on a continuous basis, enumerators continue to gather the data uh, from the field and uh, is basically fed and uh, we continue also to be appraised of the wash uh, situation in the district. Financially, I think we, we shall be able to support the, the, the program. Yes, I have already said uh, we, we budget for, for the water, especially the water part of it. In, in, in every budget, uh, Yale, so it will be a matter of just fragmenting some of the funds which were earmarked for, for rehabilitation into supporting uh, this program because the budget is already there. So it's not something that you are going to come up with a new budget or trying to come up with some new uh, revenue sources. The budget is already there. As a district, I'm happy to say we also have a, a fund that we collect from the wards, what we call development level, which we collect per each household, uh, which we plow back to the same communities uh, for their own development, the development our needs, which they decide on their own. So it will be up to us now to then say, if they have such a fund, can they also not apportion part of it to go towards the sustenance of this project? Besides the local communities, enumerators also play a vital role in making sure that RIMS continues to make a mark in developing the water, sanitation and hygiene sector across the nation. If we have a concretized one-stop shop homogeneous system in terms of what the needs and the aspirations of our people are, Sustainability measures have been put in place to ensure that after, even after the project ends, uh, the rims will continue. The Rural Wash Information Management System is neither a phase nor a project that's in the passing, but rather a system that clearly signifies the modernization of data collection and management.